Hi guys and welcome to Alien Isolation. Now, uh, it's been, being Halloween, oh, I uh, I thought I'd make a video, so it's a Halloween special, ooh, and a scary game, so that fits. And um, I was not originally going to play this game because, you know, movie franchises turn into games, it doesn't always work. Well, on Steam it said that that PC Gamer said it was uh, was the video game that the movie franchise deserves, which is probably the most positive review I've read all year. And uh, after actually having a look at the plot, I decided I was going to be playing this. As since it's Halloween, I'm going to share it with you, whoever's watching, if anyone's watching. I do these for myself, I like talking, and also when I play scary games it's always nice to sit around and talk because it adds a layer of silliness to something that's um, spooky, yeah? So. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane, Lambert, Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Oh, that gave me shivers. Ripley? Wow. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a uh, Permanent freeport. I know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. I have freckles. Wow. 
Okay. FPS moving, yes. Wow. This is... Okay. Ripley, that's me. So, if you don't know, we are Amanda Ripley. Uh, who is the daughter of the Ripley in um, in the first mo uh, first in the movies, even the lane? Okay, I, I like I like the computer things. It's very you know retro sci-fi. I like that. Taylor and uh, Connor and system monitoring A. Personal storage? Which one's mine? Do I have a locker? Must have like number three, right? This is mine. No. That's good. This is very cool. What's this? Okay, um, look like Verlaine is thinking about getting a new job outside of the company. Cool. That's her prerogative. Compound B and scrap. Well, if I learned anything from Faster Than Light, it's that scrap in this sort of futuristic space situation is very important. Ooh. Get dressed. So I'm wearing... Yes, I'm wearing shoes. And I can spin around in the spot like this. It's like... circular moonwalking? Okay, I can flick this on and off. That's weird. I might have some use later. Wow. Can I crouch? Yeah, I can. I can actually sit on the fucking the flicking thing. Hmm. Nice. That's cool. And also, caution wet floor sign is a bit weird when there's only like five people on the ship. They can just tell everyone, hey, I just cleaned the bathroom. Um, is this like an elevator? It's not an elevator. I kind of regret dressing now, but... Um, oh well. Ooh, another thing. What are you? An emergency phone safe? Oh. Game saved. Ah, yeah. That's cool. So we can, anytime we want, we can get back here. Wherever this is. Ah, <gasps> spacesuits. is cool. What? It's only one? Oh. That is cool. Okay, where are we going? Is this an elevator? No? Okay. Mm, let's go this way. Ooh. I like the flickering on lights. It's it's I, I said this before, it's very, um, it's very retro sci-fi, I like it. Oh, hello there. Taylor, good morning. Taylor? Ripley, it's certainly not good, and I very much doubt it's morning either. Well, it's space, so there isn't morning. I feel like death. I don't do know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You don't look like death, though. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. 
Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up with him. Samuels, eh? As I was saying, I think, don't think it's clipping. I think it's the light reflected in your glasses, which is kind of cool. It's just the... Uh, it's kind of doing the thing it does where it kind of moves around when it's a very small texture, like a stair or something. This is research on the Nostromo. Apparently it's missing. You knew that. Or I knew that. It's one of those situations where the protagonist doesn't know as much as the audience does. It's one of those classic tragedy things. You know, the, the way you set the story up and the audience knows that the protagonist is going towards something terrifying and horrible. But the, but the guy doesn't know, the protagonist doesn't know it, but the audience does, and then it's all, you know, then you're supposed to go, oh no, don't, don't do that, don't split up in a horror story, why would you do that? No. Oh. Wow. Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? This well, is don't cool. Really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. A well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. Hmm. I think he's a synthetic. All personnel to the bridge. I'm calling it now. He's a synthetic. Looks like we're up. Yep. Well, I was gonna say this is, looks like exactly like the room in the, in Alien. Those are like my favorite sci-fi thrillers ever. And I know that's might not be a, that many different sci-fi thrillers, but hey, it's the best one. My favorite thriller is uh, Jurassic Park. That might be considered sci-fi as well, even though it isn't. It is science science fiction, but it isn't, you know, futuristic science fiction. You know, I don't. Know. Never mind me. I'm just Hope you all babbling. had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Hmm. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector. Oh, on. the pilot's Trip up there. Gone so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Must collect my briefing document. Wow! Look at that. That's awesome. No, it's just a backdrop, but wow! It looks like space. Oh, and they got the the thing and the screens and the sound. Just listen to that. That's so cool. And the helmet thing and the man. Yeah, this is cool. Briefing file. Always good. Can we see it? 
Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torrent. Say again? That doesn't sound good. The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Looks risky. What the fuck happened here? My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Taylor. <laughs> Just keep moving. <laughs> Escalated quickly to use a very used saying on the internet, but a bit cliche. Sorry. 